Air-to-ground integration is a large part of conducting reconnaissance on the battlefield. There are only a few courses that currently teach how to incorporate unmanned aerial vehicles, but Fort Benning is home to one of them. The RQ-11 Raven is an unmanned aerial vehicle used to conduct surveillance and reconnaissance from above so that soldiers may see what's coming long before they get to it. I'd rather throw an aircraft up and get eyes on the objective when I'm about two or three clicks out and send, send a group of my guys out there and get ambushed. We're starting to save lives and it has saved lives in, in Afghanistan and Iraq. The Reconnaissance and Surveillance Leaders course teaches how to incorporate the Raven system during their urban reconnaissance round robin day. This class is taught by Echo Company of the 229 Infantry Regiment, where it's their job to teach soldiers how to use this equipment. They need to learn the capabilities of it. They need to learn that it's a very good asset to use instead of you know having a individuals go out there on the front lines before you even know what's on the objective to get eyes on it. The Raven is an asset used in air-to-ground integration. This is a popular tactic during modern warfare, so the students need to understand how and when to employ it. We got to learn the platform, the upgraded platform. Learn how we can use that as an asset with our um, reconnaissance unit. So you can use it as an asset. Say if we're moving into like a facility, we can use it as a leader's recon to see what we've got on the ground before our reconnaissance element will move into a town. The higher command can have control of it to provide overwatch for either an insertion or an extraction. The Raven travels at around 34 miles per hour at 0% wind and can travel up to 6 miles from the ground operator. And while it can reach a height of around 10,000 feet, going over 1,000 feet above ground level is not advised due to the camera's loss of visual ability. Understanding these specifics about the system will help the soldiers employ it later. But at any time you can go and just watch video if that's all you want to watch. Just maximize the video screen and you can just watch all this video. Can you zoom in from the computer here? No, I can only do whatever, whatever however he controls the bird, that's mm -hmm. the only thing I'm getting. I'm pulling it's going to provide them the uh, live feed capability before they, they step off and their patrol. The UAV is actually giving them the, uh, the live feed and what's actually happening in that urban environment at that specific time. Using air-to-ground integration like the Raven is a way to not only help soldiers with their mission, it can go where they can and see what they need to. This valuable asset can be the key to a safe and successful reconnaissance mission. Nicole Randall, Fort Benning TV.